Okay, you find uh, the tools button. Do it one more time. There you go. And go down to extensions and updates. Click on that. And this is a one time bad deal, right? You do it, it sticks? Yep. Should. Yep, it sticks. Then you scroll down and you'll find. Uh, this is Visual Studio Spell Checker. And it's not scroll up maybe. here. You didn't have to download it from someplace? It's it, under online visual studio gallery. You're right. Online. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. I just noticed it. Yep, it's this bottom one. So you went, instead of installed or something, you went to the online ones on the left? Yep, the online ones okay, on the left. the Visual Studio Gallery. Mine went there to the online one immediately. Mm -hmm. okay. So that was a step that I Not didn't no know about. Download it, did you? Download. How about that? It doesn't take an hour and a half. Then install. And you did say you have to start Visual Studio to make it take effect? Yep. That's all right, go ahead. Close Visual Studio. Close it? Yep, close it, and then we can, we can re reopen it. So you're looking for my sample four up at the top? Actually, it looks like it's launching in its own zone. Oh, there it is. You should be getting M&Ms every time now. <laughs> if you would think so, wouldn't you be getting M&Ms every time? As long as only your errors are spell spelling That's errors. That's just my project because we double picked it twice. Okay, close that one. Oh, here it comes. That's good. Let it go. And now let's open up the source code. So hit the find the form. Scroll. There it is. Oops, a little higher. The CS one up. There. And now hit the code button. Go ahead, still hit code. Okay, so now spell checking. Let's see if it works. Come down here to the method that says method closes the form. I can take over, I guess. I'm telling you what to do. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys owe her MMs. At least whenever you get them. And no, red squiggles, wow. But what I really like about this, and I've, I haven't seen it. This is the first I've seen it, but what I've heard about it. What I really like about it is it doesn't complain about things like BTN exit click or event args. Most spell checkers, if you take all this code stuff in into Word, it chokes on three quarters of the stuff that's in here. It only spell checks inside of a comment. And there's one other place it goes. inside of a string literal. Okay. Now that's all caps, but what if I put a word in there and it doesn't recognize it? Spell checks it. Notice it's a pinkish color instead of red. It's not the same color red, so you can tell the difference after experience of spell checking versus syntax errors which come up in red. So that's pretty slick. Thank you, Rachel, for sharing that with us. Questions? You're going to have to go get that from home. I will post this video so that you can learn how, and I'm going to add it to mine here so maybe my programs will be a little better. And by the way, I mentioned this. I don't know if I hit a recording, but I'll put it in this recording. If I make typing mistakes, 
or spelling mistakes in my programs, and you don't say anything about it, and then you copy my code, I'll probably catch it in your copy and mark it wrong, and you lose a half a point. You can take a half a point from me, too, if you wish. That's fine. But if you're going to copy my stuff, make sure it's spelled right. Most of the time it will be, now that I have the spell checker installed, we should be in good, good shape. I'm not quite done yet, so don't give up on me yet.